Louis Slugger with the hits. Knock him out the park, then I'm knocking down your bitch. Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to Teaching Tuesday here at Gratham. My name is Lorenzo, this is Carlos, and today we're gonna detail what makes Mike Trout the best in the business. What's your routine as far as getting ready for your swing before you go out and play those games in the morning? I come, you know, we come stretch, um, hit BP. Uh, first round, just stay right center, you know, balls to right field. And then, um, you know, just stay out the middle the whole time. You know, a couple of times I, you know, hit, try to hit the ball left center just to stay, uh, you know, square with the pitcher and, you know, keep myself balanced. One of the things that makes Mike Trout special is that he's able to stay in the middle of the field on all pitches. Whether it's an outside pitch, middle pitch, or inside pitch, he can take the ball left center, center, right center, and he can take it with authority and power. The, the way he does it is simple. He doesn't work in the way that most people have been taught how to hit. He does not work east to west on his swing, what we call east to west. Everybody's been taught that the bat operates this way, when in reality, the bat operates in a south to north fashion. We call this the Ferris wheel, which is now a term that's being used quite a bit. Coined it a couple years ago. We want to work from back to front, south to north, north to south, depending where you're at. We don't want to work in a merry-go-round fashion with our barrel and or east to west. So it's simple. If I'm A and you're B, and I'm gonna go to you in a straight line because the pitch is coming to us in a straight line. I don't want my barrel to be doing this because it's gonna take me a longer time to get there. And when I make contact, which has to be off my front foot, my barrel's going to, as a right-handed hitter to the left field part of the uh, left field part of the field, third base, left field, and all. And I'm gonna be hooking balls. I want to be working south to north, back to front where I can be making contact off my front foot, let the ball travel, and now I can go right center, center, or left center. So that's hugely important on how the barrel works. We don't want all our exit velocity speed going to the left side and hooking balls, especially on the inside part of the pitch. One of the better drills that we can show you on how to do this consistently, and Mike Trout does this drill, does it consistently, is the drop bat drill. This is a great drill that we got from Craig Wallenbach in California. Definitely want to give him credit because he did come up with this drill. You know, we personally think that the industry has to start giving credit where credit is due. Too many, too many guys steal drills from other instructors and don't give the credit where it's done. Uh, we're gonna have new drills, everybody's got new drills. Just, 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 let's give credit to credit is due. Here we go, drop that drill. Carlos, come on in. Baseball. The drop back drill is a drill done on front toss. Can't be done on T, should be done on front toss. The ball gets flipped to the hitter. He gets in his position, and as soon as we flip the ball, he's gonna drop the bat in his hands. Show it again. Now, once he gets that bat, that bat dropped in his hands, now he can go to the pitch and come underneath, south to north, not east to west. If it's middle, there it is. If it's outside, he can get to it. And if you notice, he's got to let that ball travel because the bat has been shortened also. So A, it helps you let the ball travel to the hitting zone, which is ideal spot is off your front foot or in your front foot. B, it allows him to take that ball right center, center, and left center. If you try to go east to west on the drop back drill, look what happens. You kind of almost hook yourself. Drop it a little more and you can show it so it's It'll even, there you go, it hooks you on your body. So it really forces you to have to come underneath and work south to north. So again, one more time, here's the inside pitch, he can get to it. Here's the middle pitch, he can get to it. And now here's the outside pitch, and he can make good contact and take it to right center. If you notice, he's staying in the middle of the field. Great drill. You want to learn how to work south to north, not east to west. Mike Trout, J.D. Martinez, Aaron Judge, doing phenomenal with this drill. It's part of their repertoire. Add it to yours. Grab dollar.